using a difference table to predict the next term in a sequence. Uh, the way to create a difference table is to write the terms of the sequence down in a column, like I did here. I got negative 1, 2, 19, 54, 111, 194, 307. And then what we do is we take the difference between consecutive terms. So two, so for the, the first row, I mean the first column that we have after our numbers, we have two minus a negative one gives us three. 19 minus two gives us 17 and so on. So 54 minus 19 is 35, 111 minus 54 is 57. Um, so on until we've found all the differences. And we repeat that process until we get to a column where the differences are all the same. And you notice this last column over here, the differences are all um, four, right there. So once we have that, we can stop making the difference table and now work on finding the correct um, next term. So let me erase this out. So if we were going to have another, the next term would have to continue on. We'd have another difference here and we just work backwards. So we just make a, create another difference and we know that that difference is going to be four, right? So instead of 30, we're gonna have 34. All right, and notice that the next column in that we're gonna do, we know that something minus 113 is gonna give us 34. So to find that something that goes into this, this box here, because we don't know what that is, but we do know that that minus 113 is going to give us 34. And the next thing we do know is that whatever the next value is in our sequence, we will get um, the, the value in the orange box when we subtract. Okay, so we could figure this all out by using algebra. So the value for that red box, whoops, I drew a square, I drew a line by accident. So that red square minus 113 equals 34. So all we have to do is add 113 to both sides. And what we get, these guys cancel out. And we find that the value for the red box is got to be equal to, do, 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 do. there we go. Add these up, four and three is seven. We get seven, four, 147. So that goes over here, one, four, seven. Now to find the value that goes into the black box, we're going to repeat the same process, except it's going to be for the black box. So here we go. So the value in the black box, which is the value that we're missing, which that's not black, that's red. Okay, let's try that again. So the value of the black box, um, minus 307 equals 147. So all we have to do to find the value of the black box now is to add 307 and then we can get the value for our black box which is the missing missing value and that's going to be straightforward here we're just going to add 147 plus 307 to get us 147, oops, 
plus 307 should give us 454. And that is the missing value. So the next, the next number in the sequence in the sequence is going to be 454. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Thank you.